Hi, this is Dave, Fell Running Guide. Just a quick chat about um, some of the findings I've had when comparing the Coros optical armband with the Garmin Run chest strap. So I was running with the Coros Apex 2 Pro on my left wrist and that was um, paired up with the armband the optical sensor on the armband on my right wrist I had my phoenix 5 paired with the garmin run chest strap so let's have a look so it was a hilly run where i was putting hard efforts in on the uphills and then recovering on the flat and the down so we start the trace here so the gray is the elevation profile the dark color is the garmin chest strap and the lighter grey, you can see here, that's the cross arm strap. So for the most part, to start off with, they were um, very, very similar. Just a little bit of a lag here with the cross and maybe a little bit where it read um, lower than it should have done. But here, look, they're almost overlaid over each other. Heart rate goes up together, comes down together. So that's all grey all the way along here. At this point here we see we start getting a little bit of a lag so I've done a, a hard hill coming down the other side the Garmin um, recording drops more quickly here than the uh, Coros but it gets back together a little bit of a lag here on the uphill and then going back up neck and neck until here and the Coros is reading a little bit too low and then something goes odd here something strange happens because I'm doing the an uphill run pushing hard on the uphill the Garmin uh, heart rate rises rises to a point here um, that's 177 beats per minute um, 175 beats per minute and the, um, the, well, the chorus actually drops down so there's a quite a discrepancy there the sort of match up again but look what happens here this little section here in the elevation profile is a little bit where I, um, a tiny little dip where I went down hills across the road and the heart rate profile for recorded on both watches drops off but there I start going uphill again push up hard to the top of the hill the Garmin heart rate spikes which would expect but the Coros heart rate drops way down and that's not what i would expect at all so at this point here there's a there's a 26 beat per minute discrepancy between the um the garmin and the coros i i believe that the garmin was correct because i was doing my final effort to the top of the hill um so i'd expect my heart rate to continue rising rather than dropping off there at that point there i took a a couple of seconds stood recovery the heart rate drops swiftly on the Garmin I started jogging again but it drops all the way down to the 130s but look on the Coros armband rises at this point here I probably believe that they are both reading the same and the, the Coros is trying to catch up with the Garmin and it drops away but he, even at this point here the chorus is reading much higher and then there look it just drops really suddenly a good 20 beats drops down to agree with the Garmin and from there on in they're pretty much um, in agreement so a bit of a frustrating run for me really looking at that because whilst I'd expect a few little discrepancies and maybe a time lag for the most part they're in you know the tally pretty much um, in agreement with each other but I've got this section in the middle there where the chorus is just wildly wrong and plainly inaccurate and not what I'd expect but um, yeah but then frustratingly it, uh, it picks back up and, and matches I, I've not adjusted the, the strap on my arm or taken it off or anything like that it's well charged so I don't know what was going on there um, but yeah just a little bit of a frustration anyway um, be interesting to know if you have any similar uh, findings when you, you're using these. Thanks for watching.